So uh, we are studying, uh, going to study actually the type uh, of failure. In related charts. So it is basically uh, divided into two parts. That is failure of plate and failure of ruit. As you can see, suppose uh, we are considering so in this, uh, there is another two parts, that is, uh, by tearing uh, tearing or plate at H. And another one is uh, tearing of plate. the root roots. In this case, it has to sharing of root. Sharing of root. And the other one is the brushing of rivets. Okay. Let's uh, number it. I like it. It is uh, one A. This one is one B. Let's suppose uh, I'm saying this is one first of all, this is second term. These are the sub classification and uh, this is 2A and this is 2 Okay, let's start with uh, 1A. There is steering of plate at H. Suppose, uh, suppose uh, we have a plate. Plate and there is suppose another plate. Sorry, Let's see this thing. Uh, okay, and uh, suppose two plates are good. Pull force P equal and opposite force, and mm, let us suppose I draw a rivet. This is a rivet hole, and this is the sorry, just a second. Uh, okay. This is the center line, suppose, and this is the edge of the plate. 
is the area of the height. Okay, this portion. Suppose I extend this to this portion. This distance is m. That is the margin of the plate. Okay, and hence uh, this is the rivet. Uh, you can say this is uh, the rivet diameter. Uh, that is deep. That is uh, making the riveting joint between the two plates, which are pulled by the force spin. The condition so that it doesn't tear up by this edge. Let me take another color. By this portion, the plate can tear up like that if we don't keep in sufficient amount of. Uh, sufficient amount of uh, distance from the edge to the riveting position. So the condition, so that the condition for uh, such that the tearing doesn't occur uh, is m m equal to 1.5 d, or rather you can say m should be greater than equal to 1.5 d. Where M is the margin of the riveted joint and D is the diameter of the uh, rivet. Next, so let us come uh, to now uh, that is 2A that is steering of plate across rows of rivet. Okay, um, if we draw another thing. Like that, okay. and uh, this goes the another one. Okay, uh, these two plates, um, which are riveted by two same diameter rivets. Is considered to be circle, okay? And this distance is our p, small p. That is the pitch. What I am speaking is pitch, okay? Small p equal to pitch. Suppose this is pulled by a capital P, P, force and equal and opposite force. And this is our, uh, you can say, the rivet area where the diameter is in the same, that is D. Okay. And uh, moreover, if we see this thing, it is somewhat like that. If you see by the thickness of the two plates, it is quite like that. Yes. Where it is pulled by force P, it is force P. Okay, and we can see the elevated portion. Okay. Consider this as the rivet between the two plates. Okay, so you can see. Uh, the thickness of the plate is taken as D. The condition for so that the uh, tearing of plates across the row of rivet doesn't take place, uh, the condition is um, the strength, that is the tearing strength we are talking about. Strength is nothing but the load carrying capacity, in this case, the tensile load, that is P. In this case, you can say this is Pt, that is. Uh, tensile load okay that is equal to uh, p minus d where p is the pitch and minus d is the diameter of the rivet into t the thickness of the plates into sigma t where sigma t is the permissible tensile so one is this condition for the uh, um, 
tearing of plate at edge and another is this condition okay for uh, tearing of plates across the row of fluids both are the tearing strength but the case is different one is at the edge another is for the tearing edge between two rivets where it is separated by a distance that is the pitch okay uh, in the next video we will come up for failure of rivets in the two categories the sharing of rivets and the crushing of rivets thank you